Okay, so welcome back to a twin flame path. Um, so happy first day of coldness from me to you. I'm sure that most places that people are, things are already maybe a little fall feeling. But today has been one of the first days in my area that have that has been below 90 degrees <laughs> or 90 degrees ish so that was like awesome so have some I don't know what you call that room temperature iced coffee kind of no ice I don't have ice in my house but anyway anyway let me just let me just get to my point you know because I do have a point um so twin flame stuff not going quite the way that you want or um maybe it is but you know but you know i've what what came to me i was thinking you know like what what video do i want to make you know what what do i have to talk about right now but what recently dawned on me is that some people's twin flames may not be awakened you know sometimes maybe even the initial person who is um pursuing the twin flame situation even more you know than the other they may not even be awakened you know and you may ask like what's important about that and everything is important about that like you may be, you know, accessing their higher self or having dream time, like visitations, maybe even outer body experiences or whatever, you know, you might, your soul may be going to go visit them. You may be feeling them, but then you're not really like getting the results that you want, you know, not even results like, you know, fill in the blank with whatever that may be you just may be frustrated, you know, or um, want to communicate deeper or more deeply. And your, your other half may not be awake enough to really counter the energy that you have. Um, this was my experience. Um, my twin was awake far before I was. I always had a recollection of him, faceless, but there would just be this faceless being in my life, in my dreams, who I recognized, but I could never put a face to. And I remember being like between like 12 and 16, around that age and thinking like, how come I never see this person's face? whenever I have a dream about them but I know it's the same person and it's not like a scary thing you know um it's a really nice thing but ultimately like there were no details in the face and so you know time goes on and I reach this point of like I guess you call it like the dark night everything just started it started with me being becoming intolerant of nonsense you know just deciding like hey in this situation this is the last straw this isn't going to be happening anymore you know and during that time is when i started really doing more things that were geared towards aiding in my awakening um and awakening is you know paired very closely with other things enlightenment awareness um all those other things that come along with 5d and 5d abilities and all the connection and you know from there the process started where he and I were directly connected to one another because I had, you know, woken up 
And fast forward to like a few years later, still going through these things. Like on my side, I mean, we're, we're, we learn things together now and you can kind of get an awareness of when something is learned by one or both or the other. But, um, you know, basically things haven't stopped. Um, and I had a point. What is it? I got off, I got off topic a little bit. But, um, oh, so what I learned, and maybe me telling this here will help something click for someone somewhere else. What I found is excuse me <laughs> um i don't know if you can hear me but i can hear myself <laughs> so but um yeah so <sighs> deep breaths help but um what i learned or what dawned on me or what came to me like a realization it's not like something was directly told to me um but you get these like you know information sessions you know like classes in session and you're about to learn something sometimes it's like a five minute class and sometimes it's like a four hour class but what i learned over time especially and sometimes it's like a semester type thing or a, uh, an entire term or, you know, it's like a freshman year, all the things that you learn during that time before going to the next level or next grade level. What I did learn was that all my years of journaling, um, reading, um, praying, and maybe meditation but my meditation you know i guess i can't concretely identify the way that i meditate because it's all kinds of ways but basically all of those things that i was doing for all these years before we connected um physically um more deeply spiritually like i guess directly spiritually and the direct spiritual connection came before the the physical connection or the physical introduction you know um we were introduced so we knew each other that way but we didn't like physically meet until some time later but before either one of those things what i learned after some years of all of the above, um, I guess most recently is what I'm trying to say, is that he heard or had an awareness of those things that I was doing for all of those years. Like all the, I journaled a lot, like a lot, you know, um, when I moved like different times in my life, I found that the majority of the heaviest boxes that I had were books and a lot of those books were journals like a lot you know and so um yeah all those times and a lot of that would be you know accompanied by copying verses out of the bible and journaling alongside that journaling about being mad journaling about people everything like everything man like super journalistic for 10, 20 years, you know, um, I guess since I was about 12 or 13, I started keeping journals, maybe even before then, probably like 11 or 12. So, and a lot of time praying and a lot of time meditating and trying different meditational practices. So you fast forward to when you're able to both be like on par together, um, then it was discovered like how in tune he was with me 
before I was in tune with him. And I, I can't even imagine how frustrating that was. I'm sure there were reasons, you know, those types of things become learned over time as well. So you can kind of see the benefit in things like the benefit in, you know, some of the crap that may come along with the dark night, you know, but, um, or the, I don't know, the long night, I don't know what it's called, but basically that point when you're like going through like ascension or something and like all the shit hits the fan and everything kind of goes nuts, you know, and whoa, um, I can see the benefit in during that time too, you know, um, there was, there's just a lot. So keep in mind that might be something to work on that might help people who are frustrated in their twin flame, um, partnerships. Um, you know, if one is, is, excuse me, um, if one is going one way and the other is holding steady, waiting, you know, um, being patient is a good thing, but then also trying to connect to that person in like all the ways that you can that aren't like direct, like you know, like showing up at their house or texting, um, endless emails, like just going like ape shit, like how come you're not talking to me or being really frustrated or even if the, they're with another person, like I don't even, it's like if you have faith in what you have, then hold steady versus like getting revenge because I know that they would appreciate that later. Um, but don't stop the efforts, continue the efforts in trying to communicate with them spiritually, you know, that might strengthen, that will strengthen you guys when you're meditating or writing in your journal and you're writing like to them, um, trying to connect with them and, you know, work on your own 5D spiritual self you know, like get deeper into your meditations, try to strengthen your mind. And if it helps you in the relationship aspect, if that's the part of this whole thing that's causing you pain, then you doing these types of exercises might appease that part of you that is frustrated because you're not able to express these relationship type things. So, or these relationship type activities or duties or feelings, you know, like you doing these things on your side, you hold steady to what you know and, you know, what you believe and what you know, you know, if that's the case, then just keep on keeping on, you know, but, um, I wouldn't, I, I don't have much more advice as far as like, what you choose to say about them or how angry you may be or frustrated at their situation and one that you feel like you've been taken into. Like, the only thing I can say about that is try it as hard as you can to just be cool, you know, because like, I'm 38, you know, and all of this didn't start on my end really until I was about 34. So if you are younger than that or older, but I guess what I'm saying is that I see a lot of people in age groups that are much younger than me and it's kind of like, ah, you know, why hasn't this happened yet? And it's like, Man, I spent like my whole life so far, well up until that point, like that, you know? And then I saw the way that everything kind of pieced together later. And it might be still the same situation for someone who is older than me. So what I'm saying is like at any phase in your life, these things may happen, but when they happen, gotta say it's for a reason, man. And sometimes you gotta keep on holding on with a lot of things, because they're all connected. So if you're kind of frustrated about 
and whatever situation personally that's happening in your life see how it's like connected to like everything else and just keep on giving effort so that's that's my advice for today and nothing I've mentioned isn't something that I've gone through I'm not just trying to paint some artificial flowers on the sidewalk and tell you like it's gonna be okay with a smile and I have no idea what that feels like or even more so what it feels like you know in other ways that may be even more painful like way more painful like it's not nothing about this has been easy but things may get made easier for sure and very pleasant and beautiful and nice so it's not like some craziness it's just you know what we're made for so on that note, I'm going to go and finish my coffee and be out <laughs> here at home. I'll talk to you the next time. Bye.